Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find the town judge. So in this question, we are given n, which represents the number of people. And these people are labeled from one through n. And there is a rumor that one of these people is secretly the town judge. If the town judge exists, then these three rules must be satisfied for the town judge. The town judge does not trust anyone. Everybody trusts the town judge. And there is exactly one person that satisfies these properties one and two. So out of these n people given to us, there is exactly one town judge if he is present. If he is not present, we have to return minus 1. So in the question, we are also given a trust array, which is a 2D array where every element represents A and B. A of i represents that A of i trusts the person who is labeled as B of i. There is a trust between A of i and B of i. It means A of i trusts B of i. And only the trusts represented in the trust array given to us are the only trust relationships present. There are no more trust relationships present. And our task is to return the label of the town judge if the town judge exists and can be identified else we have to return minus 1. So label of the town judge is the label 1 through n. If he is present, that should be the label. If he is not present, we have to represent it as minus 1. Now let's take the first example. There are two persons. And their labels are starting from 1 to n. These are the two people. And there is a trust between 1 and 2. So if this is 1 and this is 2, it says that A of i trusts B of i. A of i is 1 and B of i is 2. So A of i trusts B of i. And that is the only trust relationship present. Now we have to check if there is a town judge. Now let's take a look at the rules. The town judge does not trust anyone. So 2 does not trust anyone. Everybody trusts the town judge. Everybody is the sense apart from the town judge, everyone else. So 1 trusts 2. So everyone is 1. So this condition is also satisfied. And there is exactly one person and that one person is 2. So in this case, 2 is your output, which is the expected output here. Now let's take the second example. There are three people. They are 1, 2 and 3. 1 trusts 3. So there is a trust relationship between 1 and 3. 2 trusts 3. There is a trust relationship between 2 and 3. Now let's take a look at the roots. The town judge trusts nobody. So there is a relationship between 1 and 3 and 2 and 3. 3 does not trust 1 or 2. So 3 is our probable answer for the first rule. Everybody else trusts the town judge. Everybody else is 1 and 2 and they both trust the town judge here. So the second rule is also satisfying for 3. And there is exactly one person that satisfies the property. 3 satisfies the property 1 and 2. So 3 is our answer which is matching our output here. Now let's take a look at these examples given to us. So there are 5 people. Let's draw the 5 people. There is a link between 1 and 3. There is a link between 2 and 3. There is a link between 4 and 3. There is a link between 4 and 1. There is a link between 5 and 3. There is a link between 5 and 1. And there is a link between 5 and 4. The 5 people are labeled from 1 to 5. Now let's check the rules. The town jet does not trust anybody. So we have to check for the people, those who don't have outgoing relationships. Because that person does not trust anybody, there shouldn't be an outgoing relationship. You can see that 3 does not have any outgoing relationship. So 3 satisfies rule 1. Everybody trusts the town judge. So everybody in the sense, apart from 3, 1, 2, 4 and 5. We have to check if 1, 2, 4 and 5 have outgoing relationships to 3. You see 1 trusts 3 here, 2 trusts 3 here, 4 trusts 3 here and 5 trusts 3 here. So the second rule is also satisfying for 3. And there is exactly one person that satisfies rule 1 and, and that is 3. So 3 is your town judge for this example. Now let's take the second example. There are 5 people again. So 1 to 4, 2 to 4, 3 to 2, 3 to 4, 4 to 2 and 5 to 4. Now let's check for the 3 rules. The town judge does not trust anyone. So we have to check for which node there is no outgoing node. 1 has an outgoing node here. 2 has an outgoing node here. 3 has an outgoing node here, 4 has an outgoing node here, 5 has an outgoing node here. So all of them have an outgoing node. So this condition is not satisfied by anyone. So we return minus 1 as the output. But the second rule is satisfied for person 4 because there is a relationship between 1 to 4. There is a relationship between 1 to 4, 2 trusts 4, 3 trusts 4 and 5 trusts 4. This condition is satisfying but 4 trusts 2 too. So this condition shouldn't be satisfied for 4 because the town judge does not trust anyone. There shouldn't be any outgoing node for the town judge. But there is an outgoing node for town judge here. So this is a wrong answer. So none of the people are the town judge. So we return minus 1 as the output as expected here. So for every input given to us as n, we have to check if for every n there is incoming and outgoing nodes. And let's formulate the conditions using these. The town judge trust nobody that means the town judge should have zero outgoing nodes and the second condition states that 
everybody trusts the town judge except from the town judge itself so for the town judge should have exactly n minus 1 incoming nodes the person that satisfies these two condition will be the town judge now let's take a look at the code and see how we are forming the outgoing connections and incoming connections for every person so first we are doing a base check that if the length of the input array trust given to us is less than n minus 1 then we return minus 1 because it means there is no town judge so trust the relationships between two persons right if the number of relationship between two persons given inside the trust array is less than n minus 1 that is the total number of people minus 1 then it means there are not many relationships which are needed to form our output because the town judge should be trusted by everyone except for himself but if there are not enough trusts we return minus 1 as the output now we create two arrays in degrees and out degrees which are having the size n plus 1 we are taking n plus 1 because n starts from 1 through n so these represent the labels of the people and there is no label as person 0 so this will always be ignored now we iterate through the input array from left to right we take the first index so out degrees is at the zeroth index so if we take this particular trust so it is 1 comma 3 right and this has the index 0 and 1 so out degrees will be incremented for 1 because 1 trust 3 right so there is a relationship between 1 and 3 so it means 1 has a out degree so inside out degree array we take the 0th element inside the current ARR the current ARR is 1 comma 3 and for that we increment the index so this will become 1 and in degree means 3 is receiving 1 trust relationship so inside in degree of ARR of 1 which is 3 we increment the count to 1 and now in the next iteration we take the second element the second element is 2 comma 3 which is having 0 and 1 here so there is person 2 and there is person 3 2 trust 3 so 2 has an outgoing request so for 2 increment the count and 3 has an incoming request so increment the count of 3 so this becomes 2 and now we reach the end of the array and now like I said the town judge should have 0 outgoing for rule 1 and for rule 2 the town judge should have n minus 1 incoming connections and for this question n is equal to 3 so we iterate through the input from 1 to n which are the labels so we iterate for this part of the array for both the arrays using a single for loop and we are checking if the in degrees of that i is equal to n minus 1 the second rule and the out degrees for i is equal to 0 that is the first rule so we start so we start our iterations from left to right for both the arrays we check for index 1 and whatever is empty will be filled with 0 for index 1 incoming is equal to 0 and outgoing is equal to 1 this condition is failing so we move forward In the next iteration we consider index 2 so i is at 2 we check incoming is equal to 0 and outgoing is equal to 1 again the condition fails now we go to the next element i is equal to 3 now i is equal to 3 incoming is equal to 2 and outgoing is equal to 0 2 is equal to n minus 1 right n is equal to 3 so 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so this condition is satisfied and outgoing is equal to 0 so this condition is also satisfied so we return i and what is the value of i i is equal to 3 so 3 will be returned as output which is the expected output heap for example 2 and if this condition is not satisfying it will come out and it will return minus 1 as our output because there is no town judge so the time complexity of this approach is o of e where e is the length of the trust array that is the number of connections between the persons because here we are iterating through the input array trust and we are also iterating through n so the time complexity may be big o of e plus n but here we see e is less than n minus 1 then we return minus 1 which is constant time and in this part of the array it means that e is greater than or equal to n minus 1 so in the worst case e should be greater than n so in this case e is greater than n right so we can drop n so we can denote the worst time complexity as big o of e so that is the time complexity big o of e and the space complexity is big o of n where n is the number of people given to us as input because we are using two 1d arrays to calculate the in degrees and out degrees that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video